Mike Scan, senior pastor here at Epic Life Church in Terrell, Texas. I want to welcome you to a brand new three minute Thursday where we take three minutes or less and look at subjects and topics of the Bible. Today, we're going to talk about the third commandment. What is the third commandment? It's a commandment that I believe that's been misunderstood for a very long time. But before we get there, don't forget to subscribe to our page, like the video, click that bell icon so you'll be notified every time a new three minute video comes out. And don't forget to share this this with your friends, family, and those who follow you so we can get the word out and help build our platform at Epic Life Church. What is the third commandment? Well, let's take a look. It's found in Exodus chapter 20, verse uh, 7. I'm reading out of the Tree of Life version, and it says, You must not take the name of Adonai, the Lord, your God, in vain, for Adonai will not hold him guiltless that takes his name in vain. What does that mean? Well, probably if you were like me, you were raised in church and you were told that if you ever took the name of the Lord in vain, man, that's a big no-no. And a lot of times we attributed that command to saying a cuss word or saying like the what we call the GD word, right? We don't want to say that. Um, now, although it is not polite and certainly not something you should do, uh, that's not what this Bible, this, this verse is actually referring to. What it refers to is you have to understand context. Number one, ask the question, who is speaking and who is he speaking to? Number one, we know that it's the Lord speaking to Moses to command the people of Israel, his people, his people. When he's saying, do not take on, take the name of the Lord your God in vain, what he is really telling us is that we should not say that we are followers of Messiah. We should not be saying we're followers of God, yet we live a life that's contrary to to it. Remember, God has called us out of this world from, the Bible says, from death to what? Life, right? So we're from, we're called out from the world into now the kingdom, and we're, we live as kingdom. Matter of fact, Paul said it like this. He said that we're no longer of this world, but what are we? We're ambassadors to this world, reflecting Messiah, reflecting the Father to a lost world. Here's what it means to take the name of the Lord in vain. It means to live a life that's contrary to that of the Messiah. So if you're a follower of Jesus, Yeshua, then you live a life, you come to church and you do all the right things, but what? You go out there into the world and what happens? You live like you don't know him. That, my friends, is taking the name of the Lord in vain. And what God wants is he wants committed followers. He wants men and women and children who love him and are willing to lay down their life and follow after him. Matter of fact, Jesus said it this way, unless you're willing to, to, to pick up your cross and what? Follow me, you will not see eternal life. See, our life means that we lay it down and we're no longer ourselves, but now we put on Christ, we put on his righteousness, we put on living the life that we were created to live, found here in scriptures in what Yeshua commanded us. Matter of fact, Jesus said it this way in First John, I'm sorry, in John 14, 15. He says, if you love me, obey my commandments. You see, when we say we love the Father or we love Jesus, right, and we're living a life that's contrary to that, we're taking the name of the Lord in vain and we're breaking the third commandment. I want to challenge you to always look at your life as light. When you go into the world, you're separate from them, right? Jesus said, don't be of the world, be in the world, but don't be of the world, right? So we're in the world, but we're to be in the world to be a light. You should live differently. You should look differently. Why? Because people are hungry for truth and they're looking for the answer. And you, my friend, have the answer inside of you. Man, I hope you've enjoyed this three-minute Thursday. I love you. God bless you. Man, until the next time, shalom.